Hi everyone, I am Dr. Kanaka Popley and welcome back to my YouTube channel. 2020 is coming to an end and undoubtedly it was a roller coaster ride. It was really bad for few people and really good for many. Similarly, even I had my ups and downs this entire year and I would be sharing with you all and telling you a complete recap of my year. So coming to the first month of the year that is January, it was the best month I feel of the entire year. I had been preparing for my entrance exam last year and the deed day for the exam was 5th of January. I had no idea what will happen but yet the exam went really nicely and I was quite satisfied with my performance that day and the result came on 30th of January. Earlier it was proposed that the tentative date is 31st of January but it came one day before and undoubtedly the result was something which I had always wanted. I got a very decent rank of 2214 in my NEED PG 2020 in my very first attempt. It was the turning point of my life. I was so excited, so happy, so overwhelmed. Coming to the second month of the year, that is February. February is a very special month for me because I have my birthday in that month, that is 18th of February. So I turned 23 on my birthday. Also on around 2nd of uh, February, I started with Instagram. I have always had that thing in my mind, that milestone that once I am done with my NEET PG entrance exam, once I qualify it, once I crack that entrance exam, then only I would start with Instagram. Though Instagram is not a very big thing, but still I don't know why, but I always had that milestone. So then on 2nd of February, I started posting photos and things related to me on Instagram. Also, February had one more very important thing that is my first interview. I'm pretty sure that all of you aspirants must be preparing and always thinking about giving interviews on different coaching institutes or different channels. That dream also came true in February itself. I gave my very first interview with DBMCI and it was a very fun experience. I had really loved it. Coming to the third month, that is March. So March was the month when I was doing my PSM posting. So I was posted in a PHC in Najafgarh. But then there was a COVID outbreak here in Delhi too. So the Delhi, so Delhi city went into lockdown. So when it was in lockdown, so it was really difficult for me to go for my posting. So this is how my half of the PSM internship got over without doing anything. And also that was the time when I posted my first video on YouTube. YouTube was again a very big dream for me and again I always had that milestone of cracking entrance exam then only starting with YouTube and so I posted my very first video on YouTube. Honestly, I did not expect anything out of it because I just posted it so randomly. It wasn't even shot in this horizontal manner. It was just shot vertically and then in a week again, I posted one more video on YouTube and then it all just began in April. That is the fourth month that video went extremely viral, which I had never expected. So when I posted that in March, April, I had just forgotten about my channel even till May also. Suddenly when I opened my channel in around May thinking that let's just look at what is happening with my both of the videos, I realized that my video is viral. It is having almost like 1 lakh, 2 lakh views. So it was tremendous. I had never expected that. April again, not just with YouTube, April was a month when I was officially a doctor. My internship got completed on 31st of March. So 1st of April, I was done with my internship. I was done with my prof and finally I could call myself as a doctor. I got my ICC in the month of April and was very much stuck with the counseling procedure a very hectic and a very tough time it is much tough than the whole entrance exam preparation because counseling you have to think so much and you have to make a list of so many colleges all together and believe me for a person like me who is from a private medical college and who does not belong from any of the doctor background has no idea about government colleges so making that list was very difficult for me in may which is the fifth month my video went viral and then that was the time when I decided to start with YouTube regularly. That is at least posting one video per week. So I started with it. I bought 
a mic, the one I am wearing right now, a tripod and so I started with YouTube. Coming with the sixth month that is June. June was the time when I got the opportunity to start teaching start teaching on an academy so i was an educator on an academy and it was again an experience which i would cherish all my life right now we all are at a age at a stage where we do not actually know what our calling is so we can have risk we can play with our ambitions so that was the time when i started thinking of how to teach and let's just try this experience and let's just know what this teaching industry looks like so i started with that part of being an educator in an academy and it was amazing time i really enjoyed it and could make could connect with students and that is a very important thing and also not only this june was the time when my channel got monetized yes in just one month i would say because it was may when i started with youtube regularly may i think end of the may and in a month only my channel got monetized it was incredible it was very shocking for me and also in may or june my channel got 1000 subscribers too and obviously i got monetized so coming to the seventh month that is july this is the month which makes me what i am today and that is i got my dream branch md dermatology in brd medical college this very month it was the best moment of my life i would say and uh, it was a very tough time it wasn't as smooth as I am telling it to you right now there were I think I would say from April to July I had just forgotten how to sleep every night or every day every time I was so tense about the counseling I was so tense that what branch I would get because at the end of the day it is not the college what is important for me at least it is the branch which is important and dermatology was a branch which I was very much sure of that I want to get that branch only but then all's well if it ends well finally i got my branch and so i'm so happy about it coming to the month of august that is 8th so august is the month which was the most adjusting month of the entire year because i was being shifted from delhi to gorakhpur and suddenly in gorakhpur also to a government college where everything is so different all the amenities all the infrastructure everything is below average so again settling there was very tough so in august i shifted to a new flat outside my campus which is my very first experience of staying all alone with all the entire responsibilities definitely when you are staying in uh, college so in the hostel so you are not that responsible because you know that you would get your food from mess or everything you know that you still have people with you but when you shift to flat every single responsibility is on to you from water bottle to electricity everything you need to take care on your own so it was a very different phase of my life again a very tough phase but it was really comfortable for me because i had shivang with me so yes august was the time when shivang proposed we finally shared our feelings of being in love and so it's like a heavily ever after thing so coming towards september september is the month which is again unforgettable but not for good thing for a very bad thing my nanaji which is the closest person to me and the backbone of our family passed away because of a lot of illnesses and a severe infection in the body so that was the time when just felt that everything is gone and if i say that he was the backbone of my family i literally mean it because he was the one who was actually binding the entire family all together he was the one who was taking care of all our needs he was the one who used to take the major decisions and we had never felt that we do not have a roof because we had him so now that he wasn't there it was a very turmoil kind of period and very devastating period but then again life had to move on and then came the month of october when i got my first salary 
though I had been earning due to an academy or other sources previously too but this salary this PG salary is a very different kind of enjoyment and a feeling which is not describable so I got my first salary which is a very big amount because we get salary for almost two to three months all together and so we all of uh, our co -GRs, we had a very small party and we enjoy it and coming towards November I went to my home after almost let's say what July August September October so almost like four months after four months I went back to my home so it was again a very emotional ride when I met my family members again and so then I was with them though we did not celebrate Diwali as such because of Nanaji's death but still at least I was with my family that was the best feeling again also that was the time when I spent my salary to buy gifts for my family members and to buy gifts for me also I bought my first Gucci belt with, by my own money that was always on my bucket list to buy my belt when I start earning then coming to the last month that is December that is this month of the year so December was a month of all the love in the world December I got hedged with my love of life that is Shivang the Roka ceremony a very low-key Roka ceremony took place because it was actually not decided my just parents came to Gorakhpur to meet his parents and all of a sudden everything just happened I was in my pants suit and just that ceremony took place and definitely we are looking forward for all the other things next year and it would be happening very soon which I would be updating all and we are definitely planning to make a video together and not just this we are also planning a lot more things uh, wherein we would be describing our personal life to you all so yes this was my complete entire 2020 with ups and downs but yes i think this is how an year is i really hope that you also had a blast this year no doubt covid had been really bad to a lot of people but coming out of it and finding good memories is what you should be grateful of i would suggest everyone to write down in comments any of the best thing which happened with you in 2020 and be grateful for it because this is how we should end this year on a very positive note so this is it for today i really hope you like this video and if you do do not forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel and let's make this channel a very big success together bye everyone